Okay, the next ID exercise is Lomeli's menu. We are going to be given a HTML page that shows the menu for Lomeli's large linguine lounge. Okay. And we're going to use CSS rules to style the menu so that vegetarian items are sea green. And the font color of the section headers is Indian red. Okay, so that's some general styles. Now we're going to assign IDs so that the... Penne al forno should have the ID crowd favorite, and we're going to add a CSS rule to style it so that it's italic and red, so you can see that here. And then the tomato gnocchi is going to have the ID of new, and it's going to be orange. Okay, so here we can see that um, this is given a special ID. So this is a great example of using IDs to, special, um, to style one special thing and give it a unique kind of look. All right, so let's get started. We are going to run it. Okay, we can see here the menu just has a background color of Alice blue, but otherwise everything is in black. Okay, so over in our exercise, we want to change the font color of all the vegetarian items to sea green. And I can see that all of my vegetarian items are already in a class called vegetarian. So all I need to do now is add a rule for that class. So remember, you're starting with that period or dot symbol and the name of your class. Okay, so in this case, it's dot vegetarian, and the color is C green. Okay, now the section header is Indian red. Okay, so uh, all of our section headers are in H2 tag. So the type of selector we're going to need here, hopefully you remember, is our basic tag selector. Okay, so no special class or ID. We're just grabbing all of our H2 tags, and we're giving them a color of Indian red. Okay, so let's just test that out to see if we're good to go so far. All right, looks good. All of our vegetarian items are green and our section headers are red. We can see already the menu's a lot easier to read because our section headers neatly divide each section and our vegetarian items stand out with that green color. Okay, so next we are going to give our penne al forno the crowd favorite ID. Okay, so we'll find that paragraph. Here it is. And we'll give it the ID of crowd favorite. All right, to write a rule for an ID, remember you need to start with that hashtag symbol. And then the selector needs to match exactly how you wrote it in the HTML tag. We are going to give it a Font style of italic. The property for that is font dash style. And the color is red. All right, let's test that out. Looks good. Penne al forno is italicized in red. All right, good job. Last thing to do is turn that tomato, tomato gnocchi item to orange by giving it the class new. I'm going to challenge you to finish this up. If you uh, can't find it, it should be line 32 and you want to give it the ID attribute. Just a little hint there. Good job, everyone.